So, some exciting news. In fact, I'm going to change the background for this one. It's that big. Wow, it's that because big. Because it needs to be a full St. Mary's. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going with this? Oh, that was like, where are you going with it? <laughs> just, just tell them. Just, uh, let's just say it. Boom. Oh! So, they have moved the fixtures around. Effectively, to fit in with the current guidelines, um, from May 17th, you are allowed to be within a stadium or outdoor um, sports event. And we go back to stadiums can be up to 25% full or 10,000 capacity or whichever number is lower. So effectively, what that means for the mighty St. Mary's, uh, capacity St. Mary's is 32,505 seats. So a 25% capacity of that is 8,126 seats. So with the new um, schedule that's been laid out, effectively, our game against Leeds is set to be played on Tuesday night. I've got a graphic. That's why I'm stalling. Where my graphic? Here he goes. So here it is. We could be returning to St. Mary's on the 18th of May at 6 p.m. for an early kickoff. Oh, God, it's going to be a tough one with the traffic, isn't it? Do you know what? I, 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 when they announced that, I was like, oh, what well, Tuesdays? Okay, I'll get a day off and we'll just get the train down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're, everyone's going to take a day off for that one. Um, yep. My goodness. So wh- how how this is going to be done, I don't know. Of course, there are how many season ticket holders? It was like 13,000, something like that. It was like about 13,000, I do believe. So I guess not everyone's going to be guaranteed um, a space to get it in, but it's exciting. We're going to have fans back in the stadium, and it certainly makes it feel a lot more positive going into the season ahead and sporting events coming up. Maybe we'll see, you know, get back into St. Mary's for some friendlies that are coming up. But we shall see. I haven't seen anything in the um, email inboxes yet from St. Not Mary's. Yet, but I will be waiting on bated breath. Exactly. The government are going to make a decision on this on May 10th. So on Monday next week, um, they will be making a decision on, on how this will be done. The schedule has now been set. So effectively, the games that have been played on the 18th and 19th of May will have fans. And the games on the final day of the season on the 23rd of May will have fans. So the reason why they've done this is so that every team can have home fans in the stadium for the last two fixtures of the campaign, which is fantastic. A chef's we'll, kiss. We'll, we'll take it. And, you know, do you know what? If we're lucky enough to get in, fantastic. If we're not, fine. And I'm just happy that Saints fans can get back to St. Mary's. So yeah. we're ecstatic. Oh, it's yeah. good news, right? Oh, mate, like, it, it's been coming more and more as we've been sort of getting back to more to real life. And like going out seeing people, you sort of, you just start thinking, oh, I want to go. I want to go to a football stadium. I want to go. I want to, like, a little bit of me. It's like I kind of want to go when the stadium's full for the first time. So the first time I walk in, it's just ah! right. But then I, then I remember, oh, I go to games with Mike, so I'll be there about two hours before anybody's there anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, we will be. <laughs> we'll do the um, we'll do the uh, starting eleven live from the stadium because we'll already be in there going. Yeah. <gasps> so it'll be a very glitchy are. stream. It'll be very slow. <laughs> The um, lighting's going to be terrible. You would have uh, thought, audio- like, because the players have, you know, be spaced out and not, like, they might have fixed the, you know, the, the Wi-Fi in there now. They might Maybe. be like, you know, we've got to hang in here a long, long time now. So, yeah, yeah, you never know. Actually, might be high-speed internet. Just plug in. Oh, I see. Oh my god, charges! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if we get back and they put a little tripod in, right in front of you. They're like, welcome back, boys. Oh, mate, or, or <laughs> some soft we've boxes. Seen, been seeing what you've been. Do- we've seen what you've been doing. <laughs> Yeah, it's so we're all we're all generally quite excited about this. Um yeah. but it's just great to finally have a date that we can all look forward to and you know and what a game, eh? Play yeah. you know, it's a decent decent contest. Obviously we lost the, the opposing fixture three 0 Um so yeah. And that'd be a good game for Ralph to be, you know, because uh, uh, that game he sort of put out uh, 
a slightly lesser squad. You thought, ah, it's only mm-hmm. Leeds, and then he got, mm. then he, then he got Leeds. <laughs> yeah, so it'd playing, be a be good playing on a rugby yeah. pitch, weren't we? It was awful. Be nice to show him what a, what you know what a carpet looks like. <laughs> Fantastic, very sad. Are you watching the Arsenal game? I'm not. I've got the United game on. What's happening with Arsenal? They are three minutes into five minutes of stoppage time, and it's still as it was. So Arsenal will be going out, and wah, wah. those fighting for the top four position will jump in for joy because, of course, if Arsenal were to win this, they would take the full spot of the Champions League positions. But See that, you, ain't, Arsenal? that ain't happening. That ain't happening. I hope I hope that Chelsea and City put on an absolute barnstormer for the final because the Liverpool Spurs final was terrible. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a good representation of English football. <laughs> no, but at the but at the same time, it very much was because that is if if the Super League happened, that's what every game would have been like. Yeah. So I hope that Chelsea and City do, do something fun. I think if Chelsea are going to win, Chelsea going to win, it's going to have to be something fun. Mm-hmm. Because believe it or not, guys, I probably think Man City maybe might be the best team in Europe. Yeah. They are very, very good. They're pretty good. good. They are pretty, pretty good. So there we go. Did the fans return on the 18th of May and we're all generally excited. So check in your inboxes, uh, check in your spam folder, check in absolutely everything and, um, you know, look out for your chance to return to St. Mary's. (laughs) 